We are back in eQuest and we'll be putting CAD drawings to define building footprint and thermal zones. First, we'll take care of footprint shape and then go to sonic pattern. Let's click on custom again. Here, I want to delete all the predefined vertices. Let's click on this fifth icon, which will enable us to import a CAD file. Now, last time I forgot to save my file as .dxf, but I will highly recommend to save your file as .dxf so that you will encounter less errors. For now, let's open the drawing which we created last time. Uh, I named it as Final Zoning. My drawing was in feed, so I will select one CAD unit as feed here. Just click on Apply and Close. Now, you might be wondering where the layout is. It's actually at the origin. Let's use the Pan tool to go over there and let's center the drawing. Before I start drawing the footprint, let's change the snap priority first. Click on the first icon in the second row, which reads view properties. Here, we need to make sure that CAD has the first priority, uh, that Polygon has the second priority, and Grid has third. Now click on the last icon in the first row, which reads CAD drawing layers. Since I'm working on first floor at the moment, I will uncheck the second floor zone layer and click on done. Now let's click on the first icon in the first row and start drawing the footprint sheet. Just like I said in my previous videos, we should be um, drawing the footprint shape in anti-clockwise direction. I'm done with the footprint shape now. Uh, I will click on down. Click yes. Now let's define the thermal zones by clicking on custom under zoning pattern drop down menu. Uh, delete all the vertices again. Here again, I want to make sure that CAD has first snap priority and polygon second and grid third. So let's make those changes. If you see multiple layers, uh, then you want to go to CAD drawing layers and turn off the layer you don't need. To create a thermal zone, I will select create new zone. Uh, in this case, you don't need to because we are already actively creating a new zone right now. Um, let's change the drawing first. Now let's start drawing through my zone. Once I'm done, I will click on create new zone again to define another zone. Once again, I want to define the thermal zone in anti-clockwise direction. Once we're done defining all the zones, we will click on done. Yes. We want to do the same thing for the second floor. Um, we'll return to navigator first. Um, we will define the second floor in a new shell. Uh, so let's click on create new shell. 
you can name it whatever you like uh, and leave the copy data from app done. Click OK. Let's go to the second screen. Let's click on custom in footprint shape. Start with blank slate and select the background image as your last cat file. Now go to cat drawing layers and turn up the first floor zone and make the second floor zone visible. We'll check the snap priorities again if they're okay. It's okay. Now we can proceed with drawing the footprint shape just like in case of first floor. Let's zoom in, zoom in first. And we will do the same thing for zoning pattern. Click on custom, blank slate. Um, check the cat drawing layers and snap priorities one more time. And now we can start creating thermal zones just like in case of first floor. Once I'm done with drawing all the thermal zones, I will just click on done. And that's how you create thermal zones and footprint using AutoCAD. So that's it for me. Uh, I hope these tutorials were helpful for you. We have eQuest workshop where we provide you hands-on training, which includes ASHRAE 9.1 standards, complex HVAC equipment. Contact us directly if you are interested. That's, that's it for me. I'm signing off. Goodbye.